So what's up guys uh, welcome back this is my boy Gadam Slink. how you guys doing welcome to another video and uh, good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from i hope you guys are very much doing okay so guys i think uh, we seriously need to pray for jimmy fox you know the hollywood superstar uh actor and also a musician before but he doesn't really do music anymore he's mainly focused on uh, acting and if you know this popular movie uh django unchained yes of course jimmy force was the one that acted that movie alongside leonardo dicaprio jimmy force was currently hospitalized over unknown illness they call this illness mysterious maybe his family have decided to keep it uh uh to keep it hidden not to talk more about the illness so recently they came out to say see everybody needs to pray for jimmy fox because it looks like something something might happen then later they said it's no longer a life threatening situation that is not like recovery then today they are not telling us that jimmy fox fans should be expecting the worst so Jimmy Ford's family reportedly prepared for the worst as actor battles undisclosed medical complications. May I may not hear put to Jimmy Fox, so it's one of my favorite uh, uh, actor out there. And when, whenever he drops any movie, I always, I always watch it. And if you go on Netflix, there's this uh, vampire movie acted by Jimmy Fox. Come on, man. Alongside a Snoop Dogg. Come on, man. Jimmy Fox, do not go nowhere. We know you have so much to offer. According to Radar Online, the, the, the actor, loved ones are praying that he will fully recover from his mysterious ill health battle, but they are also preparing for the worst. And what could be the worst, guys? What could be the worst thing that you think will happen to a human being? He's not losing money. He's not losing house. He's not losing a wife or losing a child. He's not losing anything on earth. He's losing his life or his or her life. That is the worst thing that can happen to any human being. And they said, Jimmy Frost people are saying he's doing okay and improving. Why doctors try to get to the bottom of his problem, but he would he wouldn't be in hospital this long if he was anything close to being okay. Let them bring him to Nigeria now because there are some mysterious illness, so it, it can be an attack. Please, if anybody is close to Jimmy Fox, I am pleading. Let them bring it to Nigeria, to Nigeria or Ghana. This might be a mysterious attack. It might not be a medical something. Not be everything white medicine they cure. Not everything white medicine can cure. There are some spiritual effects. Some things that maybe maybe someone, an actor, that Jimmy Foss is uh, struggling uh, an active gig with might have traveled to india to do some uh, voodoo magic to get <laughs> jimmy Fox down yes yes if you think it's surprising those white people travel to india they travel to even as far as a uh, uh, new day to get morocco to get voodoo magic they travel there to winch on their fellow actors and actresses yes they do that so this might not be a medical situation because they said it's mysterious a family they have this family are saying they have never seen this kind of illness before it's mysterious so white medicine might not be the solution let them bring him to africa let them bring it to ghana let them bring it to nigeria make our dudua make uh, our river bafa our river should Bath him and uh, of course cleanse those unholy uh, spirit. And I bet you Jimmy Foss will be okay. Jimmy Foss will, will be okay. 
and let me be let me be honest with you not all illness huh not all illness white medicine can cure you know why because those white people they understand the power of voodoo magic now they understand the power of voodoo magic and they travel to india to get more of that and in order for you to get geek another person will lose it and if another person is getting it and you are uh, you are and you are consulting a voodoo magic that voodoo magic might want to end that person's life that is how it works so i'm praying for jimmy first to be really really okay and let's talk about our honorable politician uh, that is uh, peter obi peter obi is fond of apologizing for obedient statements online every time they attack anybody you see him apologizing he has apologized for to so many people already apologizing 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 why is it that peter obi is always apologizing have you asked yourself why why do you feel he needs to apologize why is it so calm is it for political gain is it for political gain that he feels that he needs to apologize all the time? Is it for politics? No. But someone made a remark. And that remark is coming from uh, a former Nigeria senator, although he's not a, sen a senator now. He's Senator Sheu. He said, Asiwaju Atiku, Bwari never denounce or apologize for whatever their supporters say or do. Peter keeps apologizing and, de and disassociating. If you keep moving on this apology path, you will kill the libido of your movement. You spark a fire embrace the inferno with courage do you think he should heed to, to this advice why do you keep apologizing on behalf of obedience you started a movement why not embrace it with all your might because the way you did apologize they apologize they apologize they apologize they apologize every day your followers are going to be like, which kind of thing is this one now? This one do they apologize for. They are, allow us to express ourselves, all this kind of stuff. And if you check it, people are basically expressing themselves, not because of it, I'll be. I think they are expressing themselves because of the system. Because they are not being, nobody is hearing them loud and clear. It seems like everybody just is not hearing what is happening in the system. Those big, big men who are out there, who will go to hospital, an hospital will quickly attend to them without stress. When I said I've been busy since uh, I've been in hospital, doing some runnings, honestly, oh, I know what you guys are facing in Nigeria hospital. It's stressful. It's stressful. And I pray for all those nurses and doctors there. It's not also easy for them as well. So let us read what uh, Peter B is apologizing for. He said, People masquerading as ob obedient to abuse and insult eminent personality like the most reverend pastor Enoch Adeboye or anyone else is most unacceptable, obedient by, by and large law abiding citizens, a law abiding citizens. Why difference of opinion and number calculated efforts to create ethnic to create ethnic or religious charms all in the name of politics should not in any way be tolerated as a people I ensue name calling insult and abuse likewise most of my supporters the suggestion that people okay I think you don't do well. Let me know if you are so if you support uh, Peter B not to be apologizing again, and also Peter B 
there's this trendy video a picture trendy picture that was trendy yesterday that one tunubu's uh supporter ignored peter b why peter b was trying to talk to him and honestly if you check out the picture it looks like peter b was trying to actually have a conversation with him <laughs> and he ignored him and the adamu gaba said the man in blue that was priest ade omole he is in no mood of unprepared shenanigans of peter obi and his uh, obi Dion's gang he is representing mood of all but in the court <laughs> well however the video show that peter obi no able send the man at all peter obi didn't even look at this man's face and they just pass each other it's not as if they see this picture shouldn't be making headline but People are making it look like Peter B was trying to greet the man and the man never responded. But it was never like that. Peter B was going to his seat and this man was quietly sitting down on his own. But I got so watch. It's a boy again. I'm Slink. Wonderful day. Stay blessed.